Hey Dreamers, this is Jade and I have a quick Yoseka stationery haul. I caved and ended up getting the A6 yellow cover um, of the One Piece collection and I will let you all know why. But first, let's go ahead and get in here and open this up. And of course, um, I did the compare and contrast as far as prices. I knew it probably would not be economical for me to make another order from Hobonichi since there was nothing else that I needed from that store um, and so I looked at the American retailers and for me Yoseka stationery has the best um, resale price I feel like they their um, upcharge isn't as much as other places and I like their um free shipping threshold which i met with just the cover and i got a couple more things but they're not big so yeah let's get into this i love their packaging um it's a different washi tape than the last time i think so let's get this pulled out and look at it it's so cute now i didn't get it i should have gotten it with my last hobonichi order i was back and forth about it so many times and i was like ah i won't get it because i think that yellow will end up getting on my nerves um and i was still back and forth about it and i have since started watching the one piece um anime and i love it so much and i'm not even that far into it and i have decided that i want the yellow one piece cover just even if it's just merely from a collector's standpoint, just to have the collection as far as A6. I like the A5 covers, but I don't, I never use A5 for anything. So there's no point in me buying that. Um, however, I love A6. It's my favorite size. So yeah, I did get this cover and I'll pull it out and we can look at it. And I get a couple more of the page keepers. Um, with Yoseka Stationery, if I'm not mistaken, it's like $3.99 or $4.99. Um, from Hobonichi Yoseka stationery the A6 sizes were only six bucks so again not that much of an upcharge the cover on the Hobonichi website is 33 and theirs was 47 but again the shipping was free and just from that one thing um and I, of course I added the page keepers so anyway it comes with they just like to send this postcard so cute oh and they put a little note here at the bottom. Oh, that was nice. And then here is the back. And it's a little, little different from the one I got before when I bought my drawer pouch. And it comes with these little stickers. Also different stickers from the last time. Really cute. And so let's get into this cover. I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to squeeze in just a little bit here okay so let's get this open and i have a cover on cover i had bought two in my last hobonichi order because i had thought i could use it on the tomi taro makino one um i have since decided at least for now not to do that because i don't know how it would do with the weather and i don't want the print coming off i may end up doing it um some other time but for now, I'm not going to. So I do have a cover on hand and I didn't have to buy one of those. Anyway, here is the cover. First of all, let's start with the inside. And this, the craftsmanship is so cute. Love this One Piece magazine, Techo. And of course, it comes with this, if anyone hasn't seen it. And then... The life book of course and the information all right you know what pocket that came from and then let's see what the bookmarks look like so like my red one that i picked up from a third party seller since that's not the color this year it was last year's and then of course it looks like you got i do believe this is luffy here and then here's this mole, shermangi. <laughs> and then the inside there. And then you got these two pockets. And of course, all of these. All right. And then let's look at the front. It is really, really pretty. I love it. I just feel like that the brightness of it would just, 
I don't know. Maybe the, the cover on cover will like tamp down on the brightness. And look at the inside of this pocket. But as I said, I wanted it for collector's edition. So I did pick this up from Yoseka Stationery and I love it. And if they do this collaboration again for next year, I will be picking up the A6 cover for um, 2025. So we'll see how long they do the One Piece collaboration. Um, if you haven't seen One Piece, I would suggest um, it is a manga and anime. However, I did not know that at first. I just happened to watch the live action version that came out on Netflix in September and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I even did a journal, a media journal spread for it. And I'll try to link that above. Let me get this in here. And then, um, yeah. And so, and it has in, encouraged me to watch the manga, which, as I said, I'm only like a few episodes in, I think maybe nine or so, so far. And I'm loving it. Um, somebody had described Luffy as unserious, and I was like, that's an apt description. Like, just the most unserious character ever in life, and I enjoy him so much. Luffy is unserious, and Zoro is unbothered, and they both just entertain me. And so here is what it looks like with the cover on cover. And so, yeah, I have, and of course... This gives you access to that pocket if you need it here. So, I am very pleased with this purchase. And um, the One Piece cover collection that I have started. I now have the red one. Um, I will show you that. And the yellow one. And I love the illustration I mean it's really just cool and so here this one you got Luffy and the straw hat on the back and this is the one that I stuck my um one piece techo in and I've already gotten a pencil board out to put in here and so yeah that is my one piece collection so far we'll see if it grows next year i don't know if they're going to continue this collaboration but i hope they do and if you have not watched one piece check out the live action on netflix you'll probably want to watch the manga and or watch the anime and read the manga <laughs> after you've seen the live action because it is so cute it's so good anyway that is it i trust that everyone is safe and well if you have any comments or questions, please leave those below and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye.